So what's the best time for you? We could play your games, but I could never see me lose. And I've been checking out your moves. You were slip and slide, but I can always catch your groove, catch your groove. I've been hurt before and saw you inside me. Pulling on my heart, all the strings will fly, see. You can take the cake, I'm just icing. Blow so quick, never fuck with the Pisces. Ooh, but I look quick. With a broken heart and nights apart, I'm wide awake and I'm just still thinking about you, baby. Welcome to Wicked. That stands for What You Can Do. It's your old pal Jake, and I'm uh, I'm joining you here on New Year's Eve as we wait for Garland to drop the ball yet again in 2023. I'm proud of that one. Uh, uh, with something that's been on my mind for a while. Uh, you ever see that meme of a of a person that's screaming for help because they're drowning? And then it shows under the water, and they're sitting down with their head just barely above the water. Uh, you have seen it in some form because we are living it. Uh, I had a I had a person write in to the show, uh, which was an absolute thrill for me because this is a new show, and uh, they they asked me to give a little background on myself, and I I did post uh, some basic information in the about uh, section of the channel. But I don't like to, um, I don't like it when people say, listen to me because I'm this guy. That is called an argument from authority and, and it's worth nothing. Either they're good ideas or they're not. In this case, however, um, it, my background is somewhat relevant. Uh, I worked in the local news industry for a number of years and, um, I had a number of jobs. I was a uh, I was a journalist. I was a uh, I had a radio show for a while, and uh, I also did uh, analytics. Um, worked on maybe a dozen uh, elections. If you yourself ever worked in local news, you have a sense of what that's like. Um, if you were on the other end and uh, looking at updates on the local news, the way the uh, the anchor gets their information is that there is a team of people collecting information all night. They are refreshing the uh, each county's uh, turnout pages and waiting for updates, and as soon as they get them, they send that information to the newsroom, they update it on the website, and so on and so forth. Uh, I was the uh, digital executive producer in charge of that, which really just meant that uh, if... <laughs> We didn't do it on time. I was the guy that got yelled at. It was an eye-opening experience, let me tell you. Not that many people participate in our democracy. A lot of people hold progressive opinions, and people that identify as progressives do participate. Most likely, uh, given our analytics, most likely that is you, in which case, congratulations. However, we have had a much harder go of it than is necessary because people who agree with our ideas uh, tend to be very polite and very quiet and um, 
not all of them do vote, even if they agree with uh, what we would like the country to do. I have a, I've put together what is essentially um, a template that anybody can follow, that if everybody follows, if, uh, let's say this channel blows up and uh, tens of thousands of people around the country do this, more or less guarantees progressive W's across the board in 2024. Why introduce this for 2023? Because, A, uh, it takes time for, uh, for things to catch on. And B, the earlier we do it, the less work we have to do. Now, this is not to say this is the only way for, for us to get a progressive agenda uh, followed in 2024. Uh, but it is a way that, in my experience, would be, uh, I believe, would be very effective. And even if not everybody does it, even if just you, just just you watching, uh, if you do this, then your county, the place where you live, is very likely to be more enjoyable. Let's have a look. I'd like to show you uh, the voter turnout for Oakland County, Michigan. Uh, you, can, you can see what the voter turnout was in your county. Just Google your county and the words voter turnout, and you'll get something like this. You'll have to click on a, on a local government uh, website, and, uh, it will, and it will show you... Uh, the how many people voted. Oakland County is not a small county. As you can see, there are uh, almost 69,000 registered voters, of which 153,000 actually participated. And don't even let those numbers psych you out. That's a 22% voter turnout. In my experience, and this is why I mentioned my background, um, doing a lot of elections, that is a huge voter turnout for the United States of America. Generally, it's at somewhere around 12%, particularly when people, when people aren't afraid, when it's been a boring couple of years. And we're going to go into a boring couple of years. We have Republicans in the House and Democrats in the Senate. That means you can more or less guarantee nothing will get done because the only bills that are going to get through the House uh, will be uh, nightmare fuel <laughs> presented by the Republicans. Again, you can thank New York Democratic uh, Organization for that. Um, and the Senate won't pass them because they're sane. <laughs> so, going to be a boring couple of years, which means we can pretty much predict that voter turnout is not going to be great in 2024. Step one in this what to do plan, assume voter turnout is going to be great anyway. It is, after all, a presidential election um, that will increase things significantly. Um, But you can see that the numbers that need to be dealt with are not insurmountable. And you don't even have to, you don't have to get every one of those 153,000 ballots cast, cast in your favor. You need to get greater than half of that. Go even smaller. Go to just your town. In just your town, you are talking about the people in charge of the schools where, where children receive an education and the next generation gets their uh, I ideals, or at least a portion of them. Uh, you are talking about your roads. You are talking about issues that will affect you. If you have a lot of potholes in your town, that is due to local and state government choices. 
start a social media group called Your Town Progressive Voters. As simple as that. Dedicate to it 15 minutes every week. I know you're going to feel tired at the end of the week. I know you'd rather be fishing. But if you can dedicate 15 minutes a week to monitoring a social media group named after your town, comma, state, progressive voters, and you can get a couple of hundred people on board, that'll be the youthful population of your town, you will have a political tool which will utterly shape the foundation of the entire campaign leading up to voting day. In a small town, a couple of hundred votes decides everything. In a big town, uh, like, uh, like, like Lansing, Michigan, or uh, Akron, uh, a couple of thousand votes can change everything. If the politicians running, who will themselves be following local political groups on social media, if they see a significant social media presence from a group which has clear, very easy to understand goals, they will shape their campaigns to please that group. Let's, let's go, I'm going to try to make this even larger on here. Stand by. Mm. There's, uh, there's Auburn Hills at the top within, uh, within Oakland County. Look at how many ballots were cast. We are on the verge of uh, every, we're on the verge of a, of a Republican majority causing the end of democracy. That's how serious it is. And there was only 2,600 ballots cast. There were, there were 16,000 people that could have voted. So if you have a group and you live in Auburn Hills, Michigan, and you get the young folks there to commit to voting, and you can get 500 of them, you have two years to do it. That's a long time. That's going to shape the very nature of the campaign. Not, not just the results. And it will shape the results. Uh, if a bunch of people sign up, uh, they're going to, just from having been part of this group, they're going to be more likely to remember, I got to go vote. But nearly more importantly, if the candidates see that, their reaction is going to be, I can't win without these people. So, how should you run this group? What social media platform should you choose? Dealer's choice. Whatever is popular in your area. I personally think that uh, Reddit. Reddit is a, a good lord look at Clarkston Village. Mm. Reddit is a very useful uh, tool for this. I think if you find uh, or if you search your own area, you will find there's a great many groups. What kind of content should you put in this uh, channel or uh, group or whatever it is on your social media platform of choice? Very little. Simply make the following rules true of it. People who are signing up must agree that they are going to vote November 2024. And list a few, not a laundry list, but a few basic 
policies that you are in favor of. And they can be generic. Too. They can be not generic. They can be, they don't have to be that specific. For example, affordable housing, uh, a, a, a road tax, uh, the if in your uh, if in your state this is still criminalized the decriminalization of marijuana. In the description there are links to sites that discuss local progressive politics. A lot of us already know what national progressive politics look like, but are less familiar with local progressive politics. Take advantage of that. Get some ideas. Pick three. Pick When you think of your area, pick three things you think might be relevant. And in that group, if you want even more help, put out the, uh, put out the call. Say, hey, local progressive voters, what do you care about? Leave it in the comments. So on and so forth. Your goal with your 15 minutes a week and I'm going to say one hour on election day, wherein you will say, go out and vote, go out and vote, go out and vote in a hundred different ways. With your 15 minutes a week, though, leading up to it, your goal is simply going to be to curate. Do a post occasionally saying, hey, we have 50 followers. That's great. Invite your friends. Next week, hey, we have 57 followers. Great. Invite your friends. Remember, this is what we care about. X, Y, and Z. Sounds simplistic. It is simplistic. And that's its strength. Doesn't have to be very complicated. In fact, it's more effective if, at a glance, it's very understandable. This is a group of people that has committed to voting in 2024. They care about progressive issues. If you find, compare your uh, compare the number of followers you've gathered for this group to the number of ballots cast in the last election. Go hard on yourself. Do the last presidential election, 2020. If you find you have a significant portion of those, and again, look at these numbers. It is not it is not difficult to compete with those numbers, especially over the course of two years. You will likely already have politicians knocking at your door trying to get a post up on your platform. City council, etc., etc. And if they don't, then you should contact them and make sure they're aware of it and make sure they're aware of what the numbers are. It is surprisingly easy to influence a politician. And the more local you get, remember, we're talking about just your town. The more local you get, the easier it becomes. One vote is a big deal to some of these. I have seen races decided by three votes. A three-vote difference. Is for a school board. Do this, and I would anticipate that your town will uh, likely go more towards your way of thinking. And the race itself, the competition for votes, will skew towards your way of thinking. Now, I've also... Uh, we're also just trying to have some fun here because like every year <laughs> since 2016, it's been a rough one, uh, which is why I wanted to look at some of my, the, the, the most fun content I've come across recently while hanging out on YouTube. There is a, uh, there's a gentleman by the name of Sam Cedar. You may know him. Uh, the show is called The Majority Report. 
in my opinion, it is the best leftist content on YouTube, bar none. I like Vosh. I like uh, I like uh, J.R. Jackson and basically anything by the Young Turks. But the majority of Port is. Uh, they they had a a look at the Arizona gubernatorial candidates this year. And uh, it's good to remember how crazy these people are. Here's them checking out uh, the Arizona candidates uh, in, a de- in a debate before uh, the primaries. Let's lighten things up a little bit. Let's do this Arizona c- governor candidates. This is from last Wednesday. It was a candidate debate on PBS. To be fair, it is cut up into very tiny segments, which makes these people um, seem crazy but also to be fair they're crazy (laughs) and none of these phrases um set in context make them look any less crazy now you could vote for one of these or enable one of these people by winning by not voting for their democratic opponent and argue this is going to lead to a good outcome but be prepared to walk me through that. Close my business down. But you know what? I didn't listen. I kept it open. You didn't have to listen, people. You didn't have to listen. <laughs> I'd actually like to ask everybody on this stage if they would agree we had a corrupt stolen election. Raise your hand. That would happen. Hold on. Let her finish, please, Scott. Okay. God, they talk over me, and I'm Italian. That shouldn't happen. <laughs> you know I'm what? I'm Irish. Okay. You know what? <laughs> Why not get... High tech people that are going to be on the machines that are Republicans. Oh, a Democrat, Republican, get supervisors, that, that, equal amount. That happens. That, we, we have parties <laughs> looking over the That's election right. Results. They're, they're doing it now. <laughs> no, no. They, they they're they actually telling you. Really 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 hundreds, 200,000 minimum ballots were trafficked by mules. No. Well, an honest because, election. May I finish? Mamma mia. We I have feel like I'm on an SNL skit here. Are you we going to take control of the debate? We are taking, no, 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 Carrie, I don't want I'm you to I'm happy try to, to do it. it. I know you would be okay. happy to do it. Listen, I haven't been on a stage with this many women since I've been to a baby shower. It's been a while. I don't know how that's going to go over, Scott, but we'll let that hang. Um, <laughs> yeah. let's talk about what? Do you think Republican <laughs> voters want a candidate who doesn't even believe oh. in the vote? I don't believe this primary has been fair. I can tell you that. Otherwise, I wouldn't have launched the lawsuit. Our campaign is a movement. We're going to show up and vote. Just just for the record, this lady on screen right now, uh, Carrie Lake, uh, this was 2022. It feels like 100 years ago. Uh, this lady on screen uh, is, is currently in a bit of legal hot water herself after she... Uh, after she didn't accept the results of her uh, resounding loss in Arizona and uh, did a bunch of frivolous lawsuits. Now she may have to pay the uh, the bills of her opponent. In droves, they're going to have to cheat even harder in order to try to win this. Your so campaign's think... a psyop. Uh, Paul, 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 first of all, put Paul, everything... Paul, 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 I feel Paul, like Paul, this Paul, is please. a spoof, Paul. honestly. Go ahead, finish what you were saying, please. <laughs> oh, God. Is this a spoof, Ted? No, it's not. Finish Are you saying. sure? Yes, Vanessa, I am. Vanessa, Vanessa, wow, okay. okay. I'm pro-life, yeah. from conception to death. And I believe... No we, exceptions for rape or incest? Well, that's a gray area. I, I don't know. That's a personal decision for a person. Well, why can't we treat human life in the same way that we would treat alien life that know. we discovered how on would, an alien how planet? Would you... There's a reason we don't always invite Scott, because he's polling at 0%. No, 1%. This is what happens when you lie. <laughs> Scott, please. <laughs> and no, you can't respond to a closing statement. The only kind of drag I've ever dressed in is a business suit or construction work clothes. I've never aspired to be Elvis Presley. That's a shame. All right, that's it. What? That's it. That's it. What, a construction oh. worker or work clothes? So he's a construction worker and a businessman, and if he gets a few more different drag outfits, he can be the full, uh, he can do the full YMCA song. I like accusing another Republican of being a psyop. Oh, yeah. Because, like, that... The, it's not... They're probably not running to be a psychological operation on the public. They're probably up running to like take the seat yeah. <laughs> for someone else i don't know jay money uh, arizona in here these candidates are all indeed crazy not just for these crazy clips but because none of them have a plan for managing water to ensure we can all continue to live in a desert the democrats both have decent plans the next election will decide whether we actually acknowledge and face an existential threat in our state 
So don't vote for the status yeah. quo, man. <laughs> If, if an abortion is a personal decision for a person, maybe we found common ground. It is. Uh, Sam in his uh, soft collar shirt, absolutely, uh, clearly, it's a casual Friday there. Uh, if you haven't ever seen the majority report before, oh, give it a check out. Uh, what? what? Give it a look. Check it out. It is a treat, an absolute treat. Um, really. Also, it, that d demonstrated to me the line between, like, this conservative movement or how it's manifesting itself and trolling is just so blurred, right? Because I have no idea. They're all just, like, these 4chan edge bro types. And all they can... The only thing they know... Uh, the only way they know how to communicate their ideas or their politics is through just abject cynicism and, and hatred. Um... And, and so, like, I don't even know what the Italian point was, really. But uh, that's Emma Vigland, uh, not new anymore, really, to the Majority Report. Uh, delightful. I've left a link to the clip uh, in the description. Uh, okay, so this was a. <clears throat> Give us a, a space for editing purposes. This was a uh, video I saw. Uh, Ringing in 2023 by mocking Trump's dumbest attorney, Rudy Giuliani. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's so easy to forget what a jackass this guy turned out to be. Uh, let's get right to it. It's the Rudy Giuliani song. Remember that Tony Blinken or Miley? It's 400 miles from China. It's freaking insane. It cannot be explained. Mm. It's freaking insane. It's freaking insane. It's freaking insane. It's freaking insane. Freaking, 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 freak, 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 Remember him rocking like a turtle trying to get off his back. That's absurd. <laughs> oh, That's God. Absurd. Mm -hmm. I'm not spinning a damn thing. Okay. I'm telling you the truth. Okay. You oh, don't know oh, what oh, you're oh, talking oh. about. Like, you don't I have, have any idea what you're talking what about. You just said. Did you to ask the Ukraine to investigate Joe Biden? No. Turning so the president out. did bring up uh, Joe Biden on the call. Maybe he didn't bring it up. The only thing I asked about Joe Biden is to get to the bottom of how it was that Lutsenko, who was appointed, right. dismissed the case against anti- So you did ask Ukraine to look into Joe Biden? Of course I did. You just said you didn't. Okay, well, oh, shut, up. Up. Really? shut up. Okay, hold on. Shut up. You don't know what you're talking about. Chris. You don't know what you're talking about, idiot. Oh. The State Department asked me. You said it. It cannot be explained. You did, you liar. Yeah. You did. It's the freaking truck is right here. Wait, wait, wait. He said he didn't know it's such a thing. That's the freaking 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 fre
your transcript? Uh, let's say it was read to me. And did he ask you to do what you were doing? No, I did what I did on my own, and then really? I told him about it afterwards. Now, the Washington Post this morning talks about how you were behind a lot of oh. the stuff. With thank God, thank God you it. cover it in a complicated yeah. way. But it's it's important that people understand this, because when they hear oh, stuff, the then they can, you know, say, oh, I, yeah, I heard the that spin, and it's wrong. Oh, my God, that's a crime. 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 Oh, my God, oh, my God, that's Quite a crime. A you it's just a admitted ridiculous it. Allegation. You just it's admitted a ridiculous it. Ridiculous allegation. Rudy, of course, you of just course, admitted of that. Course you admitted. I should. Oh, no. oh. I told the president of the Ukraine that we're going to fight corruption. One time, Bill Clinton asked me, "What's this guy Romney like?" You know what I told him? He's our Al Gore. All right, Rudy. Hold ah, on. the don't turtle. Clip. This that's is where it's from. Sham. I actually think they should all congratulate me because if it weren't for me, nobody would be, uh, nobody would have uncovered and faced massive corruption by the vice president of the United States. Fact, this man president. was the attorney for the president of the United States. Oh. Link is in the description, folks, if you want to check out the full Rudy Giuliani song. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. Great beat, hilarious clips. Uh, I had a hoot. Uh, well, if you're... Yeah, we're on the Eastern time zone, so we got t uh, two hours till, uh, till the new year. Uh, I hope you have uh, found your own piece of happiness in 2022. I hope 2023 is great for you. Uh, I got to tell you, I had a great year. I've enjoyed uh, starting this YouTube channel. If you are want take another whack at that. <laughs> I've enjoyed starting this YouTube channel. If you are one of the people that, ha that hears this now. Uh, one of the people that has uh, liked any of my videos or subscribed. Man, I'm just so grateful to you. Thank you. Genuinely. I'm looking forward to 2023. I have a feeling that uh, the, the sheer amount of people on the left that the right has woken up with criminality and, and general nonsensory uh, is going to make 2023 and 2024 and every year thereafter better. I'm I'm looking forward to seeing how it all pans out. I'll be streaming the whole time. Uh, this is Wicked. That stands for What You Can Do. My name's Jake. Talk to me nice. Ain't about winning, don't talk to me twice. I don't play dice. I'll make a move on the board, it's precise. The fuck is the price? I took a fiddle and dipped it in ice. I took a call and now I'm on a flight. Crew heading east, got a book in the night. First stop is Atlanta. I got breakfast plans at the Waffle House. Next up is Miami. I'm here to South Beach. What we talking about? Show out, we in Brooklyn. I'm on Flatbush and we rocking out. Then a red eye to Los Angeles. Got a rich bitch waiting on the couch. Life's gonna try to hold you back. They gon' tell you that you still got time Any minute this could all fade to black That's why we Run it up, I ain't want more, it's not enough I ain't come for the runner up I go in, I'ma win a cup I go in, I'ma fuck it up I ain't gon' lose, I'ma level up I've been down, but I got tough Hey, run it up, run it up, run it up